Hi, I'm Bear from Bear's Hiking and Outdoors at the Club here in Ranchaw, Pennsylvania. We're coming back at you guys with another gear review of the Overland Edition T3X. That's right, correct? Yeah. Okay, it is the T3X. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a little unbagging here. My assistant, lovely Abby here, will show you. Uh, it has these two ratchet straps. Here, we undo those. And it has this nice padded thing here that it's gonna, I'm gonna probably gonna struggle with getting this open. And this tent is said that you can put this from bag to ground in 90 seconds. But we're gonna see if we can go a little faster after it's out of the bag. So you guys gotta bear with me here. Okay, so it does come with a ground skirt or a footprint. We're not gonna put that together for this purpose here. This is the range fly. I'll lay that out here out of the way. And we can see how easy this is. Take it out of its oversized bag. You see it like so. There is another strap, compression strap that holds it together. It's probably a good idea for me to put that in that bag so I don't lose it. <laughs> Basically, what you do is open it up. Maybe. Then you grab these hubs. On each side there's a hub. I hope you're not always time me because we're not gonna work. <laughs> you see the, the string here. You put the foot here, pull this out, and the pen is up. Now, Find the door. The door is on this side. So I'm going to spin this around. You guys can see how to do this. After the door, had the tent is up, move that out of the way. Nice and flat here. You got to find the zipper. Your YKK heavy thing. So this has two doors, both sides. You can roll this back. Another zipper here, somewhere. <laughs> well, what we do here, we're gonna have to come over here. Ab. These are the rain flies here. The rain fly has these poles. The poles correspond with each corner of the roof. Slide into there like that. You want to come very close to look at this, Abby? Y'all want to talk about it? Throw this down over the top here. There's a pole on the edge of the rain fly. Goes into the corresponding hole in the corner of the hub. So we just do that all the way around, all four corners. The corner of the thing has a hook. The hook gets connected to the metal thing here. And these are where you guide these out to. We just do that completely around this whole tent. Each one goes down to the thing here like so. There's one for every corner that go down to the edge. Each piece has a hook. And it goes to the metal grommet here. And then you just simply go inside the tent without tripping. Come on in here, Abby. And you push up. There you go. Everything is up. This is the other door. There's two doors on both sides of the tent. I like to be tied, tied back here like so. Keep the screen on and get the bugs out. There are six windows. Make sure you get a shot of the big screen and the, the gear loft up here. 
and you get nice six windows here. This is all made out of 300 veneer. The floor is zip out with Velcro. It has heavy duty Velcro here. You can see there's little tabs in the middle. If you want to remove the floor to replace it, it just takes a little bit of a pull in here. But you can actually remove the floor. If you want to remove the floor to sweep out the dirt or slide a wire in for your solar system like I do. And it works. So these are the hubs. Everything's pretty solid. It has four gear pockets on every side. I'd say they're about 24 inches by 24 inches. You can put all your stuff in here. You can stow a fan up here for a solar light for at night. And I'm 6'1". I'll show you how easy it is for me to lay in here. 6'1", uh, and I can clearly lay across here. And this tent here is, it says that it's two man, but I can easily see four adults getting in here, six one. So I am six two one, six two. I can't stand completely up, but I we would be comfortable with a change in here, no sweat. You can see the doors. There's another door here. So if we had a cot laying on one side or a cot in the middle, one person could use that door and another person could use this door. Now, Hold the curtain hat for you. Now, putting this back together, back into the down position is the same way as this in the up position. We basically, you guys can stay out here for a second, close these windows. I'm going to poke in here, Ab, and see what we're doing here. We're going to close these zippers here for the doors. <laughs> Unroll them, the ones that we have rolled up, and close these all back up. Just like so. Come back outside here. Close the zipper. The screen. The screen is no CM mesh. It does protect against rain. You can see these flaps here. And there's a flap here. And when you pull these down across, you gotta be careful because there is a spot where it pinches a little bit through the two flaps me out there. You gotta lift this up a little bit. Pull that back down. So the rain is channeled straight down over the sides and nothing goes in the tents. Now you do got to step over this because there's a considerable gap here between the ground and the door, about this high. And it will fall. It's a trip hazard after a while if you're not paying attention. Now to get this tent back down, it's just as simple as it went up. You unhook these little hooks all the way around on each of the four hooks. From here, guys, you reach up here and you push in the roof. From there, you undo these poles from the corners of each hub. Get that out of the way. And then you basically go around, push it in the center, all the way back around. So you get the square. If it's not staked, you just fold it back in upon itself like this. Just that simple. This goes from there to the very large bag here. Use the racket strap that's included for compression. Pull 
pull this tape. Now this tent is 56 inches long when collapsed. But generally, a tent this size would be kind of hard to go into the bag. That's where uh, Gazelle fought ahead. And what they did was made the bag 58 inches. So we got a whole extra inch, lots of room. You can slide this in there like so. There's lots of extra room in here to accommodate the tent without struggling. Here's the tent. Here's the ground cloth. Shove that into the bottom there. This is the Overland Edition, so it comes with a brown cloth and updated stake, which we'll show you in a second. Just fold everything back up like so. Sit inside the bag. The bag is oversized and waterproof, too, which is pretty cool. Also has YKK zippers, just like the tent itself. It's all zips back up. Take the two compression straps on both sides of the tent bag. Pull it tight. Here's the next one. Attach the padded arm strap with the Velcro. And that's it. This is ready to be carried. It weighs exactly 36 pounds, 58 inches long. You see how long it is? One side of this is padded. You can actually strap this on your roof rack. The gorilla bar if you're going deep, deep inside this area. On the outside of the bag contains these heavy duty spikes. These spikes are screw spikes. They can be hammered in and they go into anything real easy. And if you screw the thing, there is enough of these to do all six sides of the tent itself. They come with these little rubber grommets here in case you're worried about stabbing yourself because they are sharp. The tent stakes put in their own separate compartment on the outside of the bag. And that's uh, the gear review for us here for the uh, Gazelle Overland Edition. This is in Pacific Blue, and they're available right now on Gazelle's website, 300 $45. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you check us out on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and like. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.